Happy New Year, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in for my very special top five cigars of all of 2018. These are the best of the best cigars that I've been smoking this year, and they come highly, highly recommended for all of your smoking experience. So what an incredible year it's been. As I name off my top five cigars of the year, I also wanna highlight some of the really cool events that I've been able to attend this year. Starting with Pro Cigar, out in the beautiful Dominican Republic for a celebration of cigars. Fancy evenings, beach relaxation, cigar factory tours, and flavorful food. Next up was the West Coast Tasting event by Cigar and Spirits Magazine in Newport Beach, California. Always a great time with ample spirits, plenty of cigars, and many friends. Which brings me to my number five cigar of the year the Avo Signature 30th Anniversary. Ecuadorian wrapper with Dominican binder and Dominican filler sits at a light, medium body and strength with notes of black pepper, freshly ground coffee bean, sweet cream, toasted sugar cane, and a touch of vanilla. Hand rolled in the Dominican Republic, which brings me to another great event. A special chef's edition luncheon at the Davidoff Fields in the DR. Amazing spread of culinary treats, fine cigars, special company, and a gorgeous backdrop to enjoy it all. Back in the States, we have another fabulous event at Mickey Blake's Cigar Lounge in Connecticut, hosted by Jay Duncan and Associates for Light Up the Night, a magnificent event and fundraiser celebrating all of our military. It was quite an honor to be in attendance on such a special occasion and wonderful to see the outpour of support. Now for my number four cigar, this is a new cigar introduced this year in style, the Monte Cristo Nicaragua series. This is a fine demonstration of a Nicaraguan puro blended by AJ Fernandez in his factory in Esteli, available in four sizes, subtle spice, aged sun-drenched cedar, hints of cocoa, smooth, and very balanced. Next up was a trip to Modesto, California for a calendar event and a visit with some new and existing friends. They have a gorgeous humidor, and my guess is that you will find all five of my picks from this year inside their impressive humidor. Then, of course, was the IPCPR trade show. Everyone in the industry is there showcasing their new cigars and visiting. It's a busy show, but there's no better opportunity to catch up with old friends while smoking all the new goodies. Number three is coming straight out of this trade show as it made its debut and was well received by the masses. The McAuliffe Grande Bold Sumatra, part of a new lineup featuring five new blends. It was tough for me to make a choice between this Sumatra and the Matafina because I love them both. However, the Sumatra comes in at number three as it is a coffee drinker's best friend. Notes of dusted cocoa, anise, nutmeg, cinnamon, a touch of cedar and aged leather. Medium to full, very rich in flavor. I had a chance to smoke a fair amount of these while attending another fabulous event, this time in Fort Worth, Texas, for a cigar and spirits tasting event hosted by McAuliffe Cigars amazing live music, super swanky venue, abundance of fine spirits, and plenty of friends to share great cigar moments with. Next, I visited Connecticut again, but this time to tour some fields of tobacco and actually get my hands dirty. I was so excited to be able to do my first stock cut on a tobacco plant. I loved the farm atmosphere and especially enjoyed hanging out in the curing barn and smoking a variety of cigars. Which brings me to my number two cigar of the year, the Nat Seco Anniversario 1965 Liga No. 4, who made my list for the combination of flavor, construction, and complexity. A true cigar connoisseur's delight. Specially selected Ecuadorian grown Habano wrapper in case Nicaraguan grown vintage Habano seed binder and filler, all aged with patience. Full, complex and balanced notes of creamy cashew nut, toasted almond, milk chocolate and cinnamon 
as well as a mixture of white pepper make this cigar worthy of stocking up your humidor. I enjoyed this cigar and more during the fun in Vegas for Big Smoke hosted by a Cigar Aficionado magazine. There I met many new faces and I saw a few familiar ones. I had the opportunity to hand out and autograph my 2019 Cigar Vixen calendar as well. After the craziness of Vegas, it was a nice relaxing treat to sneak away to Napa for a weekend of cigars and wine with close friends. It truly is the perfect setting for a cigar. While the season holds many holiday festivities, my favorite was the Davidoff dinner hosted by Chiva Cigars in Pasadena. An elegant celebration of cigar lifestyle, incredible cuisine, fine spirits, and a great crowd. And now, without further ado, my number one cigar of 2018 is the High Clear Castle Cigar. Hand-rolled in Esteli, Nicaragua, and blended by Nick Melillo to create a flavor profile that reflects the English aristocracy at the turn of the 19th century era. This cigar utilizes the best Connecticut shade wrapper available and features extremely rare aged hand-selected tobacco from Nick Melillo himself, including Criollo and Corojo from both Jalapa and Ometepe, and an exclusive hybrid seed Nicodan in the filler. A carefully selected Brazilian Matafina binder tie all the flavors together seamlessly to create a true medium-bodied cigar with exquisite flavors. As you smoke the High Clear Castle, you will enjoy a complex and creamy flavor profile with notes of vanilla, pistachio, hickory, graham cracker, nuttiness, vanilla wafer, and hints of leather and cinnamon. It has an incredibly inviting aroma. This cigar is available in five different vitolas, Churchill, Toro, Corona, Robusto, and Petite Corona. Each box is handcrafted in Esteli, Nicaragua and elegantly adorned with the gold outline of the High Clear Castle, a magnificent estate which has been the seat of the distinguished Canavan family for over 300 years. Currently, the 8th Earl and Countess Canavan reside in this beautiful Victorian mansion. This cigar is truly worthy of the noble history of High Clear Castle. Also, rumor has it that a full dark High Clear Castle cigar is in the works for 2019 and I can't wait to try it. I truly hope you enjoyed my top five cigars of 2018. Be sure to check out my Instagram for lots of different fun pictures and some giveaways for these particular cigars all throughout the month of January. I do wish you a very happy year and as always thanks for spending time with me. Cheers!